In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a box plot for a single quantitative variable using ggplot2. Now, I've already loaded in my data set, which is going to be the Hollywood Movies 2011 data set, and you can load in your own and follow along. First thing to do is to remember to load the ggplot2 library. That provides all the functionality for plotting that we're going to use. And you only need to do this once per session, but please don't forget to do that or else you'll get some warning messages and error messages. Now, to draw the bo box plot, it's going to look a little complicated, but it's a recipe that you can follow for any individual quantitative column. The first thing we do is initialize our base layer like we always have. Then we use the box plot geometry in order to actually render a box plot. We have to make this look a little bit different than we had before. For example, I want to draw a box plot of the world gross for the Hollywood movies in 2011. And in order to do this, rather than specifying AES and then X equal to something or Y equal to something, what we need to do is tell the box plot geometry that world gross is a variable. And that's what this is doing. And then we add in, we need to peel off the labels on the X axis because they're going to look quite weird if we don't. We're going to specify a nice label on the Y axis that is readable and then we're going to specify that the x-axis scale will not have any breaks on it and then we're going to flip the coordinates now this gets a little tricky so what I'm going to do is run each of these I'm gonna run it all at once and then break it down into stages so let's see what this looks like first so what you'll see is that we have the box plot as we expect it to be rendered but what is this actually doing so let's dig down a little bit if we just run these first two lines, what you'll see is that it draws the basic box plot, and then you'll see why we need to clean things up a little bit. So you'll see down here on the X label, you have this var and X, and you don't want that at all, so you would like to remove that. And so we're going to remove the X label using this second line. And then also world gross, you might want to make that two words and also give some more information. So now let's run the first four lines and see how things change. So now you're seeing that we have a nice label on our y-axis, a vertically oriented box plot. We still have this pesky little break down here labeled var. And so that's what this next line is going to do. It's going to get rid of this little pesky little label down there on the x-axis. So if we run that, what you'll see now is a box plot oriented vertically. Now that's nice, but actually vertical comparisons are slightly easier to run. So I'm gonna interchange the x and the y coordinates here so that now, after running that code, you can trace down from Q1 and see where it hits on the x-axis a little bit more easily than you could tracing across to the y. This is how you create just one box plot using ggplot2.